Um, let's see. Car paint version one, and in, in this material pack actually gives me a bunch of uh, car paint colors, a uh, very reflective, very um, nice looking, I should say. Um, so yeah, and let's drag this into the sphere, and then once we render that again, um, you can see the this um, sphere being reflected off of this sphere, um, and it looks very very sleek and shiny and nice it looks very nice um i actually wanted to play like i said with the landscape of cinema 4d see if i can give a little bump effect to the shadowing but i didn't get to do that um let's see what we can do um add a landscape to cinema 4d make it a bit bigger uh wider actually right now just make it wider let's um push this to the back a bit make it wider like so uh, this will be just fine select both both spheres and uh, rise them up a little bit and if you render this it'll look bad <laughs> it'll look bad uh, just saying <coughs> And let's actually, um, let me remove the plane. That way I can get a better landscape effect on here. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. Uh, this is actually first time trying this, so I'm just um, going as I go. So once again, drag this little circle into the landscape, which is now a landscape, not a plane. Let's see how this looks, the after effect of this would look see if um there's a little bump effect on the shadowing i'm not sure if it'll come out that way but hopefully it does and it really doesn't it basically looks the same um other than me forgetting to do the compositing on the landscape there we go and it basically looks the same but anyways that's how you make an object look um realistic when you actually put it into a um, an actual real picture with um, an actual an actually real backdrop and a real people or whatever anything it'll 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 look nice um, you can just play around with the lighting if you want um, look around on Google search for HDR lighting um, to make it look nice and what basically gave this um, little cloud effect right here is is the um, the little picture I told you you will need which is um, this right here is what basically gives it that cloud reflection on the on the sphere let's see let's move this sphere a bit lower let's render this again it looks pretty nice uh, well done termination <laughs> This is actually me. I'm playing around with Cinema 4D. I've been playing around with it a lot lately. I'm trying to get a bit better with this um, DFX stuff and trying to show you guys how to get better at it too. Um, I see too many people on YouTube just trying their asses off and, um, you know, um, compliments for trying, but won't look too good. Uh, you actually need to watch tutorials and um, how to learn this stuff. Um, it's really easy to do actually um, I jumped into it um, blinded kind of uh, I didn't watch too many tutorials basically because I was familiar with a couple other animation programs that um, helped me a lot with the language on here basically knowing what I'm doing like in animation functions and stuff like that although I didn't use that stuff right now but um, a lot of it uh, goes into effect when I transfer over to another engine and that's basically how it works so now you got this um, as you feel delete the first sphere and you just want that sphere right there um, so be it do whatever you want whatever you can add a text onto it uh, give it a bit depth a bit of um, a poof to it <laughs> make it look nice um, there you go so this has been termination with another tutorial and Hope you guys liked it. If you want some more tutorials, just um, subscribe or 
and comment that'll be nice and just um, recommend something you want seen done from me I don't know if that uh, made sense but yeah so thanks for watching please write and subscribe